Ladies, what if I told you that you could get any man you wanted to get if I just gave you a little drop of this? On the next Montel Wim Show, we have a doctor on this show who says she has created the ultimate love potion for women. You rub it on, and bingo. I've been baiting them off with stick, Montel. As soon as I smelled her, I took a big, deep breath, and I felt like a tangle. It was weird. Love in a bottle on the next Montel Williams Show. Montel, this is so scary. The Montel Williams Show, today at 10 on WSVN 7. And a man sitting at home right now, or if you just know that your television's on, you better jump in front of the screen because I'll tell you something, we got a hot one for you today. Now, I know a lot of you have seen all these products on the air and in the news lately. Uh, you know, everybody from Elizabeth Taylor, you name it, is selling perfume that says that if you wear this perfume, you can attract the perfect man. It will make you more sensuous. It'll make you more appealing. Men will just fall over to come and see you with Elizabeth Taylor's perfume on. There's a guy out there right now selling some cream, supposedly, for women that you can put it on your thigh and instantly cellulite goes away. <laughs> That's what they're saying. That's what happens. But what have I said to you, and this is to the ladies in the house, that there is a product on the market right now, has been approved and is selling right now on the market, and it is called Athena Pheromone 1013. And this product right here, if it is mixed with your perfume, you rub it on your body, I'm going to tell you something, within a couple of days, men go wild. <laughs> Wait a minute. Men go wild. Your wildest dreams will be fulfilled by looking at just taking this little bottle right here, rubbing it on. And I'm not talking about something that's supposed to be a gimmick. This is created by a scientist, a woman scientist, who said, I'm telling you, I've come up with the essence and the thing that drives men crazy, ladies, would you buy it if you had the chance to do it? Put your hands in the air if you buy it. Come on, tell the truth. Don't lie. Wait a second, stand up here, right here. Yes, ma'am. I'm talking about love in a bottle, right here. This is it. Look at it. Hold it. Touch it. Touch it. Press it against your forehead or something. Man. You know what I mean? Then you got to rub it on. What do you think? You buy this? Probably. I'm telling you, it's guaranteed to drive a man wild. And even if you're a married woman, you rub this on, husband hasn't been paying attention to you, rub it on, he comes home, walks in the house, says, how you doing, honey? Oh, huh, how you doing, baby? Come here. That's what he's like. Give me my bottle back. Oh. She, she's joking. Give me my bottle back. Who else put their hands up? Where's some other people? Oh, yes, ma'am. Stand up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it will drive men wild. So guess what? We had to test this to prove that this was right or wrong. So we asked five ladies to go out one night as a matter of fact, you've been using this now for what, 10 days, ladies, all of you? Right? right? Yeah. Let me introduce them. Sylvia, Laura, Susie, Beth, and Karen, welcome them to the show. <laughs> now tell me something, ladies. How many days have you been using this? Anybody jump in? About a week. About, About a, a week. week. About a week. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yes, sir. And for a whole week you've been using this? What do you have to do? Just give me the regimen of what you're supposed to do with this. You put it in your perfume, mm -hmm. and uh, you let it sit for a while, shake it around, and then you just put it on. It's a little stronger than your perfume, and you just go out. I mean, I've been baiting them off with stick, Montel. Lord really? mercy, I can't get rid of them. So many guys. So many guys. Do you rub this all over your body? No, you just, like, put it under your nose, behind your ears, on your wrist, just normally where you'd put perfume. It's just a little stronger scent. Fighting them off with a stick. Oh, in the grocery <laughs> store? The, what kind of peas are you buying, miss? Or at the video store? What movie are you renting? I've got ex-boyfriends chasing me. They're all over the place. I'm not sure if I want a man now. Really? <laughs> Sylvia, how about you? What's been your no, experience? I, the only thing it did is every time I put it on in the morning, it gives me a headache. So I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> by it. So I really haven't had as much luck as she has. But have any guys come up and Sure, start? they come up and they want to know what I'm wearing and, and what that scent is and everything. But was, uh, was the same? Anything happening before you try the product? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty outgoing anyway. Okay, all I right. just gave me a little more confidence to approach maybe the, you know, the cuter guy as right. opposed to the so-so guy. And when and you approach the cuter guy, did the cuter guy kind of reciprocate? Sure, definitely. After wearing this? After wearing this. Wait a minute, Susie, how about you? <laughs> oh, God, Montel, this stuff's scary. It's scary. I, I... I'm Wait a minute, I, really, I gotta tell the public. Everybody, I am not doing an infomercial for this right now. I'm telling the truth. These ladies tried this on in an experiment, and you're saying that it really worked for you. It works. I mean, it's, it works. Give you me an example. They follow you around in my mm. office. I mean, 250 people have been working there for years, and all of a sudden the guys are paying attention to me. Really? 
Yeah, it's not attracting the right one. <laughs> but, but they're coming out of the woodwork, right. huh? They're coming out. That's All right, right, Beth, how about you? What happened with you? Well, it didn't really change my life. Uh, some nights I go out and meet men. Some nights I go home and don't meet anyone. So it... It really didn't change my life. Did it enhance it at all? Maybe it gave me a little bit more confidence in the beginning. I was very conscious that I was wearing it the first day I took the train to work. And I'm thinking, why aren't all these men uh, swarming at my feet? So I was thinking maybe it takes a little longer to take effect. Yeah. And then one night I went out and I didn't meet anyone. And the next night I had five guys that wouldn't leave me alone. But that's usual for me, so. Well, okay, I really so think it you was saw no difference whatsoever. Is, there, is that what you're saying, or did you see a slight difference? I don't, I really don't think it did, okay. did anything. Okay. All right, Karen, how about you? What happened with you? Well, I'm married. Right. So I wasn't looking for men to swarm <laughs> at the supermarket or whatever. But I think it made me more conscious of my appearance and, you know, smiling more and wearing makeup. And I don't usually wear perfume, so that was a whole other thing. Um, but I think... It's a more of a mental thing for me. I okay. think you put you in a mental state of mind and you're more receptive, you're more outgoing. I want to see just how outgoing you all were. So I'll tell you what, we sent them out on a date, put them in a bar, and let's, let's take a look and see what would happen. Let's do them getting ready. All right, you're all getting ready. And now for the main event, the love potion. Okay, baby, do your stuff. You might be able to meet a man after all, Laura, tonight. <laughs> we'll see. You guys ready for tonight? I'm so ready. No, no, no. I'm going to sit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Stick. Boom. Get away from me. Get back. Get back. I think I'm right. pretty enough to go out and get my own guy without any enhancement. If I'm wearing perfume, I'm wearing perfume. Okay. They smell it. It's nice. Okay. All right. Now, Laura, wait. You have a boyfriend. You had a boyfriend. I had an ex-boyfriend. And, and he's still... He used to love my smell. He would always smell my hair, you know, anything about my smell he just loved. Well, we went out on Halloween evening, and I was wearing the stuff, and he smelled it, and he noticed it was a different perfume. He said, what are you wearing? And I said, oh, I don't know. What do you think? And he just smelled me all night, on and on and on. By, <laughs> by the end of the night, oh, my gosh, he came up to me and said, I love you, and I want to marry you. Really? And I was like, He was an ex at the time. I'm sorry? He was an ex at the time. Yeah, he was an ex. We're just friends. So it was kind of a shocker, and I thought, well, maybe this stuff does work. Really? What? It's coming back around. You know what? Because, you know what? It's really funny, because that same ex-boyfriend called me up about this smell. Uh -huh. He's, like, completely gone nuts again. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Ralph, come on out here. <laughs> and, and Ralph... You hadn't seen her for how long when you saw her and got that whiff? Oh, about a month. About a month. You got the whiff. Now, That's a now you spent some time with her, had a great evening. Right, right. But evening. you wanted to say something to her on national television. Why don't you go ahead and tell her what you want to say? Laura? Like I said to you the other night, will you marry me? Oh, my God, it's Lady Lordy Mercy. <laughs> Take a break. Okay. <laughs> we, we can do just that. Let's take a little break and we'll be back right after this. Talking about real, no kidding, love potions in a bottle. And I'm going to tell you, it's called Athena Pheromone 1013. And what I didn't tell you earlier is that it sells for about $95 a bottle. That's one thing, because I'm going to tell you, love in a bottle ain't cheap. All right? <laughs> now, well, before we go any further in this, now, Laura, you know, Ralph came out here, mm -hmm. flew all the way out here to surprise you and ask you this big question. Uh, but well, before he does, Ralph, you were dating her. The relationship obviously ended right. for some reason. Now, what brought you back to her and really drove you so wild that you would fly across country, come in here and say, Laura, will you marry me, baby? Well, it was at a party, and we haven't seen each other for a while. And we were, you know, just talking, and I was smelling her neck, and she's like, smell my neck. <laughs> and I always smell her neck anyway. She's the type of person who just likes to smell people, I guess. And uh, so then I was just, as soon as I smelled her, I took a big, deep breath, and I felt like a tingle. It was weird. And I used to smelling her all the time, but I never smelled that weird, you know, whatever. 
And that whole, the rest of the night, I guess, I just followed her around like a puppy dog and... <laughs> and bingo, and you haven't stopped thinking about her since? No. Okay, well, yes, ma'am. I have two questions. Um, one, where do you buy it? We're going to get the answer to that later. Go ahead, number two. And two, what's his, what does it smell like? Well, I'm going to give you that later. <laughs> Sit down. We'll get to that. i got to get back to... So, Laura, we took a break. You've had a little bit of time to think about this. So are you going to... Yes, no, maybe so? Talk about it? Think about it? What? Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about uh -huh. it? Really? Yeah. I mean, now... Yeah, we're really good friends, and... We like each other. What a lot. I want to know is it was did she smell differently or did she carry herself differently? Like she had more confidence behind her. Um, she never has less confidence than she now. <laughs> and uh, it was just the smell because she and smells the had the same perfume on. It was just a different thing that happened to me. The tingle. Yeah, it was weird. It just well, came just, right because I took it deeper. I don't Roger know. said the same thing. It was a tingle going yeah. on here. Well, I got to see whether or not men are being brainwashed by someone. So joining us right now is the woman who developed this potion that drives men wild. Please welcome the author and biologist, Dr. Winifred Cutler, to the show. <laughs> and I kind of held you back for a second, but Dr. First thing, you got to tell me, what is in this stuff? Well, I can't tell you the exact secret formula, but I can tell you it contains human pheromone. And they're dissolved in an alcohol, a standard cosmetic alcohol, SD40. And when you say human pheromones, because for all of us laymen out here don't know what that is, what is uh, that? It's like a... Think about a dog, a female dog in heat. Have you ever noticed that the males come? When I was writing my first book and I had a female and she was in heat, I couldn't smell anything. But the males for miles around were hurtling their bodies against the door, trying to get at her. So That's you... what a pheromone is. It's a substance that a an animal emits into the atmosphere and it causes the same species so in dogs we humans wouldn't even notice it but other dogs noticed it it has no appreciable sense of smell to the woman who puts it on but like you heard here we're hearing this in our research the men are saying in long-term relationships oh what is this delicious new perfume and it's the same perfume they've been wearing all along they just pour that little vial into it and it's like a little tingle in the heart well i didn't know about that that's this is something new to me okay well, I was gonna say, yes, if you wear any nice perfume any man is going to really love the smell of it and be attracted to it if you're out in a club you're with your girlfriends i think if you're out in a club though and you, you know you're sitting there with all your friends guys are going to come up anyway i don't care if you're wearing perfume or not just I if you look true. available you're going to be yes. available and that's why our studies our first studies were placebo some women got a blank and some women got the real stuff and they didn't know what they were getting and they were recording every time they had sex and after 14 weeks we found that 11 percent of the placebo users had it once a week at least or more like a paycheck they never missed a week but <laughs> it's very good for a woman's body to never miss a week but that's a different story right. but what we found is the women who were wearing pheromone and the, the sample it's got to go here got to put it on your upper mm -hmm. lip so you can appreciate the fragrance 73 percent of them never missed a week for 10 weeks in a row so there was a difference okay yes, i'd like to know where do you get it i want to take revenge on a man with this stuff oh so you want to drive him crazy back at an eczema, you right? want to put this oh, on yes. and have him say, groveling groveling yes, and then yes. go see ya see you later oh. <laughs> see right. wait a minute i don't know about this stuff a lot of women that'll get evil with this, you know? Yes, sir. It's not my, intended for my that question purpose. Was for the, uh, my question was for the biologist. Was right. there like a, a male counterpart, like uh, some type of... Oh, yeah. oh, wait. Let me just tell you about that. In a little while... I, ingredient no, there. I wanted to tell you something because during this, I really kind of waited for this show to be able to drop something on you. We're going to tell you about it a little later on because there is a male counterpart now. A male counterpart now. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Um... I can see where it can maybe spice up a married life if, if you want to use it. Yeah. But what happens when someone comes to repair your dishwasher and you're wearing it and exactly. <laughs> you may get some unwanted attention? You just might. It's a great question. And, and my answer to that is women should always retain their power. One of the things I do in my books in Searching for Courtship is teach women. It's wonderful to lure a man. Then you have to know what to do with him when he comes to you. Is this somebody you want? Is this somebody you don't want? If you don't want him, there's a polite way to let him know so he doesn't pine and waste his energy and you should never mislead him. Keep man. scratching at the door, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I know Ralph said that he felt like a little tingle in his heart, but is really his reaction more a physical one than an emotional one? Well, he said a tingle in his heart. And 
Well, this really is a chemical heart. that's stimulating <laughs> physically. I think it means a spiritual heart. <laughs> well, I mean, a tingle being that went through straight down and through, you know, my body. Your whole body. You're describing sexual my heart. excitement, I think. He was, right. wow, wait a minute. You know, hold on a second. Now, you're going to tell me women are going to be wearing something in a restaurant or out, out one night, and guys walk by, and next thing you know, it's like, Wow. Where do you hear? Wait, you well, should wow. ask Sally what happened in a restaurant. I should ask Sally. Sally, it. stand up for a second, because you you've used this for a while, right? Oh yeah. And what happened with you? Well, I'll give you an example. I was I had to go into a bar. I was looking for somebody, and I walked through the place, looking, and I almost walked into the kitchen. I was walking all around. And evidently, I was spreading my pheromones, as Dr. Cutler said, and I bought a drink to pay the rent, and leaned against a bar, a bar stool, and I just kind of you know like this. I wasn't inviting at all. I didn't think. Four men hit on me. Four. Four. Does this ever normally happen with you? Never. Never. <laughs> ever. I'm not the type. I don't look the type. Ever. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Yes, ma'am. Fragrance additives. So the answer is no, unless you're allergic to cosmetics, in which case we recommend people do not buy it. But, because but, if you can't pour it into perfume and put perfume on your skin, you can't use it. But, but the one side effect could be a lot of guys' checkbooks out here across the country. Yeah. Well, I, I can tell you, we have a reporter from the Philadelphia Inquirer who's used it. She sort of snuck into our study and later told me she's a reporter. Her boyfriend has suddenly been buying her Timberlake boots, perfumes. Should this never happen before? Really? Expensive presents. All right, well, you know, I'll tell you what. Now, we have been talking about something for women, and, and this gentleman over here asked, well, is there something for a man that can do the same thing? So when I heard about your study and I heard about your product, I went running out, I ran into about 12 different doctors, came up and I said, and this is supposedly about pheromones and all this stuff, so there's got to be something that a man can give off. <laughs> well, we've been talking about love potions, and really love potions for women, and Dr. Cutler, you want to explain it, really a love potion for a man wouldn't work anyway. No, it shouldn't work, because in biology, just like the dogs, you don't have the male luring the female. You have the female, her role is to lure and to choose from among the ones that pursue which one she wants. And the male's role is to get it up and move toward the female. So okay. what they're doing is, now I could show you how to make some money with the potion, but the design was wrong. You did a placebo trial. Correct. Everybody got a placebo. First I did placebo and the real stuff. One thing worked and the placebo didn't work. But see, with my placebo, they all thought that it was working. But they the were. women said it didn't. Right, <laughs> okay, you're off. absolutely correct. Now, you know, now I want to make sure this is very clear to everyone. No one's had to pay for any of this product that we've given out today. I mean, right. the prices that I quoted, we did this as an experiment on the show.